Hello and welcome to another episode of the Gravity Cancel Podcast. This is episode 19. This podcast is also sponsored by absolutely nobody. So that means we've got slots for uh, sponsors if anybody's uh, looking. Uh, anyway, here's Spank Cakes. What's up, buddy? Not much, not much. Uh, I haven't been playing much Brawl Hall these days because Street Brawl, it, it made me realize how much I just love traditional fighting games, and uh, I've been getting back into those a bit. But that does not take away from my love of Brawlhalla. They just so. grabbed it and ripped it straight out of your heart. Man, it's, it's, uh, it's, gone. it's a sad day whenever you don't see Street Brawl below the custom game room tab on, uh, on the Brawlhalla main screen. It's, you're uh, you're going to become sad. one of those Brawlhalla players that uh, just play custom games. Dude, so uh, I've been trying to play custom games of Street Brawl, and it's miserable. Like, you thought the people in Q were bad? The people that decide to make Street Brawl lobbies are really bad. Like, really bad? Like, they're bad at the game, or just... They're they're bad at Street Brawl. They might be good at normal oh, Brawlhalla, gotcha. but they're not... They're not good at Street Brawl. I got you. Uh, like, if I, if I go browse the rooms right now, um, there's one lobby for U.S. East uh, for Street Brawl with no special rules. And then there's a U.S. West one, which this one's been up forever, but it's an invalid room. Uh, anytime you try to enter it, it just gives you an error. That's weird. With a, Yeah, it's it's so weird. I've I've tried to join it the past four days. Oh, it's, it's the only one now. Um, I've tried to join it the past four days, and I can't join it. And it makes me really sad because I just want to play Street Brawl. Oh gosh, it's like the missing no in Pokemon. It is. It, that's exactly what... Are you, Do you have the Brawl uh, client open? No, not right now. I actually mm. just closed it a minute ago, right before mm. you started telling me about that. <clears throat> so, Street Brawl. Um, yeah, it, it's completely ruined normal Brawl for me. I just... I can't find enjoyment with normal Brawl anymore. And, uh, yeah, it... It was a it was a little piece of magic uh, in Brahalla and and now it is no more. Now it is no more. Well, you guys heard it here first. Spank Cakes is officially canceling the Gravity Cancel podcast. Uh, not quite. We're gonna make it the Street Brawl podcast, and we're gonna talk nothing but Street Brawl. Oh, uh, and then so I'll, speaking I of have like a true crime type, <laughs> like a conspiracy theory on why Street Brawl was removed. It's because they needed other worse weekly game modes. Um, but speaking of Street Brawl, did you happen to catch, and now it was a couple weeks ago, did you happen to catch the Street Brawl exhibition tournament? Uh, I think it was on a Monday dev stream. No, I didn't I didn't catch any streams this week. Uh, it was like two weeks ago, but um, <clears throat> it was really good. Like, it was a bunch of professional players. You got, like, Santee, Simba, Cody Travis, Java, etc. Um, it was really good, but it wasn't like they had really practiced Street Brawl. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, spoiler alert, um, it went down to grand finals between Cody Travis and Java. And Java was absolutely slaying with Hammer mm-hmm. uh, throughout the whole tournament. I think Java actually knocked Cody into loser's bracket. And then Cody Travis came back with the uh, reset and then the reverse sweep to reset. Oh and then ended up 3 0 in the, in the reset grand finals match. Kind of upset that I uh, missed that. I, I still recommend checking it out. I it's don't probably up on know. the YouTube channel, right? It is, it is. Um, I don't know that there's anything to really glean from, like, street brawl meta on it but mm. it's they're really good matches regardless because you know they're good players at the game so inherently they're going to be good at street brawl fair enough well oh, yeah my we cat are, decides to come meow while i start recording podcasting it's we are uh, at the time of recording it's the 26th so we're the day after christmas so we still got time to talk about brawl holidays since we haven't yeah. done so yet what do you think? Of the we new mentioned skins it. We, we mentioned it. I think our last podcast was just before. It was right, oh, right after they announced the skins. Out. Yeah, but right, uh, right after they announced the skins, but before they uh, released it. Oh, so I guess there's no point in uh, going over what we think of the skins because now I remember pretty lengthy conversation uh, last episode talking about the skin. 
Uh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Let me ask you this question. Just because whenever I pulled the uh, the page up, it's got the two new skins, and then it also lists all the holiday skins. What are your top two holiday skins for anybody? Uh, so, I actually did buy a holiday skin. Um, while it may have uh, been under the influence of an adult beverage, I ended up <laughs> buying the uh, Snowman Onyx or Snow Woman Onyx. Um, the so that's too good. The cannon, yeah, the cannon's what sold me, but just like the tongue sticking out, it looks like a little puppy. Oh, yeah. so cute, so cute. Ugh. So that's number one for me, I think. And I really, I, I'm torn between two, and I'm going to go with this one because I respect the character more. Um, Krampus Cross yep. is number two for me. Yep. Without a doubt. What, what are your two? Uh, I was going to say number one is probably Krampus Cross. And then I really have to respect the Artemis skin. Yes, <laughs> that was the one that was. But I don't want to. I don't want to put respect on that name. You know, sheesh. It's uh, a it's I'd, a really good Artemis skin. I'd honestly go with Val though. I like the Nutcracker look. Very nostalgic. I see, I don't like that they did Nutcracker Val and Nutcracker Bodvar. Just like I don't like that they did they did Santa Wuxiang and Santa Thatch. Well, they also did. Um, uh, Nutcracker also, Cassidy, I mean, yeah. yeah. But I guess you did two snowman skins with Core and Onyx. So yeah. get creative here, BMG. Let's go. We need we need more uh, holiday representation. It's the raw holidays. Let's get some uh, Kwanzaa up in here, and let's get some. Uh, what other what other holidays are there? Uh, what's the Hanukkah? Hanukkah. Yeah, get some Hanukkah skins up in here. Let's branch out. Happy holidays, happy bra holidays. What's, what's the little thing that holds the uh, Hanukkah candles? Uh, hmm. You're gonna have to edit this one in. Oh no! I was just gonna say yeah. that with the. Uh, it would be a cool hammer skin. or a hammer skin. I, I, I can see that. Awesome. A uh, a orb dreidel. Ooh, the little that'd be spinny nice. top. Yeah, come on, BMG, hire us. It's right there. Just <laughs> grab it. We'll take full credit for that when it releases next year. Uh, so other news, uh, the Enlightened Prime, Prime Bundle is available with the uh, Monkey Wuxiang and a couple other... I can't remember what the emote is. You know, I just had it pulled up. Yeah, it is as well. It is well. So let's pull it up really quick. Listen to those type... A little keyboard ASMR. Oh, I don't think it came with an emote. You oh. get the uh, the Foo Fists weapon and the Onasan sidekick. Oh, yep. And Wushan Kong, not Monkey Wushan. Listen, I've been calling him Monkey Wushan just like I call, um, I don't even know the name of it, but the frog, I call it Frog Wushan. Dude, it's Raino. Come on, it's Raino. Raino, that's the name. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not just a frog, it's Raino from Rivals of Aether. Which Put is... some respect on the name. Rivals of Aether was is that was that BMG's first game? No, no, BMG had nothing to do with it other than a little Twitter competition between uh, what's his name, uh, Fornis, Fornis, the the creator of Rivals of Aether. So the reason Reino Wuxiang is a thing is because they had a little Twitter competition, BMG and uh, Dan Fornis, that's his name, Dan Fornis of Rivals of Aether. And it was like whoever gets the most retweets or you know whatever likes um, will put the opposing game's character in their game. So that's why Rainbow Wuxiang's a thing. And then there is a Ragnar Maple skin in uh, Rivals of Aether. Mm, I gotcha. Okay. So you, if you want to download Rivals of Aether and play it, you can play as Ragnar. And uh, they just got rollback, so the netcode's uh, pretty crispy. What pretty is crispy. the what is the game that I was thinking of that BMG made before Brawlhalla? It was a mobile game, right? Hmm. It was uh, it was Rayman. That was the game. Blue Mammoth Games. Dungeon Blitz. Is that what I'm thinking of? It, it has to be, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure they. It was an MMO, uh, a uh, Flash-based MMO. Founded in 2009. 
BMG. Yeah, they were. They were. And uh, good old ATL. ATL. Um, anywho. Uh, Speaking of so... BMG, they just did a charity stream. <laughs> what what about them segues? Uh, they raised $10,000 for Racies. R-A-I-C-E-S. And, uh, yeah. I didn't get a tune in for it. Uh, but I did have it up in the background. And, uh, I hope I got the, the really cool Lance skin that they had. Was it a Lance skin? Uh... We are, we are grossly underprepared for this episode. <laughs> I know we are. Oh my gosh, <laughs> What's what's the difference? We're always so prepared. I know. Uh, it, it was a lance skin. The, the perceptive flight lance. See, I was dumb and I forgot to open the stream up. Or I think I left it open, but I didn't like refresh it the next day. You didn't click on like the chat or whatever. Yeah. And then I completely missed out on Metadev Barraza. I'm still trying to live that one down. That's the uh, the charity streams are always really fun. I just I was working, so I didn't get to watch it. But it's always fun watching the devs play, like, other games. Yeah, I really like whenever they play, like, rhythm games. I don't know that they had any rhythm games this time around. Doesn't look like it. I don't think it was the last one. I think it was the time before that I sat and watched most of it. And near the end, they were just all just beaten and bruised from the podcast. Or not the podcast, from the live stream. And then they just started breaking out Guitar Hero, and it was, ugh. Yeah, I do remember Chef's watching that one. I, I think it was like two two charity streams ago. They ended up ending with Mario Party on this one, which like Ooh, Mario Party is one of those games where it gets better the more tired and or inebriated you are. So I can only imagine how it was after a whole 10 hours of streaming. Mm-hmm. Ugh, but, I can't uh, imagine. So here's the big one. Here's the big news item. Uh, patch 6.02. So, how much Brawlhalla have you played since since 6.02? Uh, a little bit. Just like so, a couple pickup games here and there. Normally, what we get after BCX is like a big balance patch, right? Uh-huh. Um, and I'm thinking that always happens in December, January. Although, I haven't been playing Brawlhalla more than... A year and a half or so so i don't know that for a fact but it typically happens right after bcx because it gives people to adapt to the new patch and then roll right into spring tourney and all that what they did this time is they added test features which changed the cooldown of dodge and have you played I, experimental i well yeah i've been playing experimental uh, I don't think I noticed a huge difference other than I actually I do remember feeling like it was really difficult to dodge away from a Lance player that I played but that might just be me getting into my own head like oh yeah I totally uh, I totally experienced something new but I, so I, there was like a oh gosh I can't remember the youtuber it's one of the bigger Brahalla youtubers posted a video on it it was egg soup. egg soup egg soup yep egg soup I got like half through the video and I was like I don't understand any of this Okay, so uh, I watched I watched Egg Soup's video um, a while ago, so I don't remember all the like precise details. So effectively, the way Brawlhalla is now out of experimental is that you have a different uh, cooldown on dodge depending on whether you're grounded or in the air, right? So if you're grounded, your dodge is short or your dodge cooldown is shorter, and if you're in the air, your dodge cooldown is longer. Mm. and in the air it's like a variable cooldown so if you touch the ground at any point um your dodge resets um within a certain amount of frames so i think in like ranked and and normal game modes outside of experimental right now the grounded dodge frame is 60 frames so that's one second right so Mm. if you're on the ground your dodge is one second if you're in the air I think it's variable between like 75 and uh, 160 or so frames. So like two and a half seconds. Mm -hmm. So in the air, it's like 75 frames, which is one and a quarter seconds on the, uh, or in the, uh, in the air, it's variable up to, um, I think it's like two and a half, two and three quarter seconds. You know, I just had a great idea. 
All right, go ahead. What if we do a supplemental episode with Cobalt? So it's not like in the numbered podcast. Like uh, 19, 20, 19, 20. 19 and a half. Yeah, 19 and a half. Talking about this because I'm as you talk about it, I'm like, man, I really wish I knew a little bit more about this stuff. And I'm like, oh, maybe we should have Cobalt back. So it, yeah, Cobalt would be a good person for this. But basically, in the air, your dodge is longer, and it's it's variable, so it, it can change depending on whether you touch the ground or not. On the ground, it's always the same. Mm-hmm. Now, all dodges are the same, regardless of ground or air. So it takes out like that uncertainty of, do I have my dodge or not? Mm-hmm. You know if this many frames have passed, you have your dodge. Um, so it, it takes out that uncertainty, and it also basically allows you to gravity cancel more Hmm. is this a change that you like personally i haven't decided yet i think i like it brought it up you sounded very like did you see this and it sounded very negative like you were upset about it so (laughs) i i think i like it from a for, for two reasons i like it because it's clear um before or like with normal brawlhalla right now it's not obvious that your dodge is the cooldowns longer when you're in the air. Mm. So like adding that layer of clarity helps by making it just, hey, your dodge frame is always 75 seconds or, or 75 frames. No, not 75 seconds. That would be horrible. <laughs> uh, your dodge frame window is always 75 frames. Like that helps someone new be like, okay, I know after this amount of time, I have a dodge, Mm. regardless of whether I'm in the air or on the ground. Um, So I think from that aspect, it's really cool. And then also, uh, and Egg Soup touched on this in in the video, uh, it's the first dynamic change to core Brawlhalla gameplay since the dash changes. Mm. So obviously it hasn't been implemented into the core Brawlhalla uh, game. Uh, it's still in test features, but it has potential to like shake up what Brawl Hollow looks like, and Talk I think it alludes. A bit more. Yes, I I think it alludes to a faster, um, more uh, aggressive Brawl Hollow experience because once you land, if they waste their dodge and you start a string, you can carry that string for three or four hits before they get do- their dodge back. Hmm. I just uh, I got sucked into the vision of playing a scythe player there for a second. Just so yeah, it does. Oh, you try to dodge? Wrong. Yep. Wrong if you frame, if you buddy. mess up a dodge on scythe, it's it's terrifying. Same with lance or uh, cannon. But contrarily, weapons like katars get a buff for this as well because they're heavily string based, and um, having more time to act between dodges is just oh i i can only picture the setups you could do if you were better than me (laughs) uh but they so they also kind of changed gravity cancel it's called i I think they called it easy gravity cancel um so they it looks like they decreased the uh window for initiating a gravity cancel from a directional dodge uh from five seconds to three seconds so if you do a directional dodge, you can do a gravity cancel faster. Mm. And so like you have, I've seen a couple of videos on Reddit where like Vector can just hang out off the map by gravity canceling and doing a down sig with Lance, you know, the one where it shoots out the three little bullets mm-hmm. or three little energy spheres, whatever you want to call them. They just hang out over there forever. Same with like, uh, same with Thor and the orb neutral sig. They just like keep casting it over and over and over and they can just hang out forever basically okay. until they fall off the bottom of the map. That's uh, that's pretty wild. Yeah, the, the videos are crazy. Um, this I would be a good I've time. I can't believe I've not seen any of this. <laughs> this would be a good time to throw it into the podcast video on YouTube uh, of someone just doing this, this absurdity. Um, I don't know if there's much use for it, but you can do more gravity cancels while you're off the stage. So, like, of course, you can do some cool stuff with it. Hmm. But, yeah, I highly recommend hopping into uh, experimental or turning on test features in a custom game and just trying it out. Because it, it feels 
it feels different. Even though it doesn't sound like much, it feels way different. But yeah, that's that's the big thing with patch 6.02. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I always take a risk whenever I'm like, okay, I guess we're wrapping up this conversation and I just stay quiet and don't respond. I'm always no, no, expecting no. you to catch it, roll on to the in other news. Or we I was, I was hoping you'd really have ex something silent. exciting to say nope, about we'll it. We'll just have know? a nice little silent pause, and then and then we go. There we go. The power of editing is we can take those out. We won't, but we can. Yeah, it's classic comedy. So, <clears throat> um, we're on to rumors here, and I haven't seen much about uh -oh. it. We don't talk about <laughs> I know. rumors. A new segment, right? Uh, but this one was intriguing to me. So, there was a little... I don't know if it was like a data mine or what. But, there was a rumor that the next ranked rotational queue will be a 3v3 mode. Now, what could that mean? So, we had 3v3... Uh, what was it? Brawl Ball? Which... I think it was Brawl Ball. Cluster. Yeah. Kind of lackluster, um, but it could be a 3v3 just regular mode where it's 3v3 ranked on big maps, or it could be 3v3 crew battles. So, I, so as much as I really do want a 3v3, um, you just said it, crew battle. I always forget the name crew battle. Um, if it was 3v3 that, I would be so happy, but just having a... 3v3 ranked just standard uh, I would also love that like not yeah, a rotational would... one just <laughs> we'll just have to find a new friend when do we when do we have three people come on god it's it's hard enough finding 30 minutes to play uh, yeah now, now divide that between three people instead of two ugh. um I I actually I I hope it's crew battle I really do I think the spoiler was like or the data mine or whatever just showed it was like ranked threes or something like that dot you know whatever the file extension was mm -hmm. um so it wasn't entirely clear what it was i really hope it's crew battle because people have been asking for that and then as such i hope the next one is street brawl because people seem to enjoy that <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so here's still hoping they street brawl it. comes next but uh I, I i don't know that that will be the case but yeah, so if you uh, if you typically play with a group of three other or two other people, this might be the mode for you. Don't want to play brawl ball? Might be the mode for you. You can stop appearing offline whenever the better friend is online. Right, right. That's exactly what I do when me and Cobalt play together. <clears throat> I'm sorry. What was that? No, nothing. What was nothing, that? Nothing. Um, what was that? I, I always appear online and I always invite my buddy Rox to play Brawlhalla with me. Always. Oh, you know what I can't stand? All, almost all my Destiny uh, friends, they all have it set on Discord to where it never shows what you're playing. And it's just uh, uh, the worst. No, I'm, a, I'm appearing online, so you'll definitely see when I'm on Brawlhalla. Sorry, I'm unscrewing my water bottle and it's really loud. Uh, so, rocks. Yes. What are we doing with gravity cancel? Well, actually, it's funny you say that because it's in the uh, it's pretty heavily talked about in the topic of the podcast. <laughs> no, 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 we're not, we're not, we're not to the topic of the podcast yet. Don't get ahead of yourself. I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I wanted to talk about an upcoming video series that we were, uh... Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's your time, Zesty! Zesty has been wanting to get on the podcast uh, for a very long time. And uh, I think on our like very first episode, we talked about having uh, some students to train under the Great Rocks and the Great Sergeant Spankcakes. And then test their metal in a 1v1 and fight each other to the death. Yeah, between these two guys, they may have, what, four hours total playtime? Zesty showed 11 hours on Steam. So well, he's, he I, said I, he left it AFK all day. He said he's I, only played like I think hours. I think Zesty might be sandbagging. He might be sandbagging. Uh, you never know. I think those 11 hours were hard fought and ranked, 
and uh, Zessie's coming out to uh, shut me down and uh, beat my student. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. So I think what we're gonna do is a couple of training sessions. I'll record my end and Rox will record his end with Zesty and then I'll record my end with, with my uh, trainee. And then uh, after that, we'll do a little 1v1 and uh, either stream it and or record it. And uh, may the best man win. I'm gonna be so difficult on Zesty, you have no idea. This is gonna be the funniest, oh. funniest content we've ever put up on YouTube. I, I think so as well. I've been kind of like going back and forth with how I'm going to train uh, Penguin, my my little disciple, and uh, I, I have a couple ideas, and I think it's going to be some solid content. Hopefully, it's like either that or it'll flop. This is this is not the best uh, analogy that I have, but uh, oh, and I completely lost it. Brain fart. Ugh, save me, pull me out of the brain fart. Um, Rocky. Uh, is it a Rocky reference? Oh. Oh. All right. Well, on to the topic of the podcast. On to the topic <laughs> of the podcast. So <clears throat> be on the lookout for some upcoming video series on our YouTube channel. Uh, we're getting ready to wrap up the uh, the showdown series, and then we'll get on to this, I don't know what we're going to call it, uh, teach someone to play Brawlhalla series. <clears throat> topic we'll of the podcast we'll, we're, we will uh workshop that name yeah yeah it's not great topic of the podcast today is december 26th 2021 and uh hopefully we're getting to a better year in 2022 and hopefully everyone's coming up with their new year's resolutions so rocks you think that i didn't take the time to put together a list no, I'm thinking all of our listeners didn't take the time to think about how they're going to be a better person in 2022. Oh, I gotcha. I thought you were trying to throw shade at the fact that I may have waited nope. last second to type uh, these out. I'm not throwing any shade. I just want our listeners to be proactive and <laughs> being better people. Uh, number one, uh, hopefully we can do more donations uh, via contests like Showdowns. I don't know if we're, we might do it with the uh, the series we just talked about with Zesty and Penguin, but I would like to do more donation stuff. I agree. Charity is important, and everyone should strive to donate to their favorite charities in 2022. Make the world a better place. Unfortunately, um, actually, you know what? Mine might kind of allude to that. My first New Year's Brawlhalla resolution is spend less than $200 on Brawlhalla. <gasps> no. $200 limit for the year? For the year. How much are battle passes? Uh, I think 10 bucks. So we can bank on like three battle passes maybe? So I have 170 to work with. So if I can spend less than $200 on Brawlhalla... Put it in the books. I will donate two hundred dollars to a charity at the end of twenty twenty two. Oh heck yeah! Uh, I'm excited so. to pull up all your receipts in Steam at the end. Of this. <laughs> You're like, oh boy, he does not have any money left in his bank account to donate to any charities. We need to get this man a financial advisor. Uh, so yeah, I want to. I want to spend, and this is not uh, BMG. I love supporting you. I've just spent way too much on your game. Way too much on your game. So You're not going to get that from me, BMG. I'm going to keep spending my hard <laughs> money. My first resolution is to spend less than $200 on Brawlhalla in 2022. Okay. Okay. I feel like my second one's a cop-out. All right. I just put hit diamond. <laughs> Dude, you're shooting for the stars. Yeah, I do. Well, it's listen, listen, listen. Halo came out, and I got placed in Diamond. Hadn't played a Halo game since Halo 4. That was almost 10 years ago. And guess what? Onyx, boom. The beast was reawakened. I just have to find that same, that same mental state I had for Halo. And I'll be Diamond in like two weeks. In ones or twos? Both. I, I think our chance of getting to diamond in twos is better than either of our chances of getting diamond in ones. I was going to say the exact opposite, but let's go with your side. 
I, I think we can cheese it out and get there in twos. Okay. I don't see. Okay, so I have a very similar resolution, but not quite as um, ambitious. I want to reach 1850 in once. So my current peak is, I think the highest I've reached is 1770 approximately. Okay. So I was close. I was within five matches probably. I think I can do 1850, but I do feel like I've gotten worse at Brawlhalla over the past three months. So, so I, so yeah, I, 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 I was editing a showdowns earlier and I was just like, oh my gosh. I am well, so keep in mind game. we we played Street Brawl, which is drastically different than Brawlhalla. Yeah, that's fair. You're removing you're removing a core aspect of it, and you're you're putting yourself in a telephone booth with another player, and just battling it out to the death. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, regular Brawlhalla is just a nice floaty, you know, great experience. I do like the float. Right, right. Sometimes so it's, you feel it's a little uh... Street Brawl is is drastically different feel a little claustrophobic at the street bro so you think you can reach diamond in 2022 i mean it's a year i mean we've only been doing this podcast for seven months eight months maybe in a would year. you put 200 dollars on it for charity Ooh, are you gonna sabotage our 2v2 elo no no 1v1 or 2v2 okay and i i want to get i want to get diamond just as much as the next person All right, so yeah. bet all right, all right. So if I spend less than two hundred dollars on Brawlhalla, or if I spend more than two hundred dollars on Brawlhalla, I have to pay two hundred dollars. If you don't reach Diamond, you have to pay two hundred dollars to a charity. Okay. I feel like my task is quite a bit heftier than yours, but okay. Uh, I don't know, man. I I like spending money. All righty. And I like spending money on uh, pixels on Brawlhalla, so. So we're already starting on my first resolution, which was to donate more. And then uh, <laughs> I got my hit diamond. What was your second one? Uh, reach 1850. Oh, yeah, 1850, because it tied in with mine. Yeah, yeah. My third one, a little ambitious yet again from uh, this, this corner. Get Sandstorm and Boomy on the podcast at once. At once? At once. That could happen. Four man podcast. A four man podcast sounds very hard to uh, coordinate, but as a man, <laughs> as a man who once tried to do a six man podcast, I agree. <laughs> Bring a sword. You and you and I can barely find time to get ourselves together, let alone two other people. Yeah, especially when. One other person has a full-time job, and the other ones are in the early years of college. Very, uh, yeah. very bouncy, very sporadic schedule there. All right, I I'm down with that. You know, let's let's try for Boomy and Sandstorm, and and then uh, at some point in the year, we'll get Cody Travis. Uh, okay, we won't get Cody Travis. Do you not like Cody Travis? My mic unplugged. Oh, okay. I've been okay. messing with it. <laughs> no, I love Cody Travis. Cody Travis. Okay, awesome. yeah. At some point in the year, we'll Gotta get Cody Travis. Gotta respect the Barraza. This man never, never changes. Everyone's got that backup pick, their struggle pick, their rage pick. Barraza is all the man needs. I don't understand that. You know, I think, uh, I think in the Street Brawl exhibition, he didn't touch Barraza at all, if I'm not mistaken. I think really? he beat yeah he beat Java with Bodvar. Oh wow! Yeah, it was it was pretty crazy. It was pretty crazy. Um, okay, so my third uh, this is actually a, a very realistic one. My third resolution is practice movement for ten minutes before each uh, play session. So go into training mode and just move around, right? Mm -hmm. and then practice at least three times a week of actually playing. So of those three times a week sessions, um, each time before I actually get into matches, I will practice movement in training and hopefully become a better Brawlhalla player because of it. I mean, you could always throw on a, uh, what's the God tier bot setting? Is that hardcore? 
Chosen. Chosen. Yeah, the Chosen bot. Put a Chosen I, bot, I, maybe even two Chosen bots in there to practice your movement and, you know, just trying to stay alive. I don't even want, like, I just want to get zen with my movement. I just want to feel the okay. flow. I want to feel Yumiko coursing through my veins and become one with Yumiko. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I just, I want to actually practice Brawlhalla because I feel like Brawlhalla is my game where I just hop into queue and play it. Um, whereas other games like Guilty Gear, I will go into practice mode and actually practice stuff before playing. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's because like it's easier to hop into Brawlhalla and just hop into a match. Yeah, because all the, but, the base mechanics are... I'm, I mean, it's really just the weapon set and the signature set that sets... Keep saying the word set. Sets apart each <laughs> legend versus... Right, right. You know, typical fighting game, if you learn one character and you go to learn the next one... It's going to make you worse You're relearning the, the game, yeah, basically. Yeah. You have to relearn it all. So, but the one core in Brawlhalla is the movement. So if I can mm -hmm. get my movement down solid, I, I feel like I'll become a better Brawlhalla player in 2022. Okay. I like that one. That's a good one. Um, so, hit me with your fourth. So, mine was going to be... I really want, it, want to have, like, a Gravity Cancel tournament circuit. And... I don't want to go down that whole rabbit hole with the conversation. I, I feared that it might putting this in here, but, you know, do we want to do something like Street Brawl? Or uh, it's always rotating. Every every season, it's a different uh, uh, custom game. Unfortunately, or I don't Or just like think... a standard tournament. Yeah, I, I don't think custom games will survive. Because if you look at the like rotational ranked queue, they don't get the players that regular queues have. Yeah. As much as I would love a street brawl tournament circuit, I don't think it'll happen. Even if you we'll, rotate it up. I was gonna say, who knows? We might get that three v three playlist, and it just be the best Take thing off. ever. Hopefully, I, I hope so. I, I really like the idea that they have between. Uh, Ah, I really like. <laughs> I really like the idea of rotational ranked queues, mm -hmm. but I just feel like they haven't stuck, and maybe I, that's because they've been kind of gimmicky. Yeah, I always like the idea of rotating queues like that until it's something that I don't want to play. Right, I have to right. wait an entire season for a different rate. Uh, weirdly enough, with how big Brawlhalla uh, the the player base is. It just doesn't seem like it sticks. It seems like people just want to play their normal ranked cues or play experimental or play free for all. Yeah. But yeah, we'll 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 come up with something, and I, I think uh, we'll talk about it a little bit later. I don't have it on the show notes. We'll talk about it a little bit later. That I think will make making those tournaments happen uh, even easier. So uh, my final one, and this is a little bit of a joke one, but I'm I'm very serious about it. Don't get clipped by a Mordex and lose. <laughs> if I see, and I haven't seen it yet, but if I see myself show up on the Brawlhalla subreddit getting clipped by a Mordex, I just want to be able to go into that thread and say, I won that match. <laughs> so. See the... <laughs> Every time I watch a clip on the Brawlhalla subreddit and, <laughs> and the person getting spanked is a skin that I use, I will sit there and I'll be like, did I play this match? Is this... Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm always so paranoid when a, a Reno pops up or a Lin Fei pops up. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, the legends you're trying to learn. Yep. Oh. I'm like, oh, no. I did not just get clipped on a Brawlhalla subreddit. And I haven't yet that I'm aware of. But, uh, yeah, in 2022, it's not just for the subreddit. It's not just for YouTube. It's not just for the Twitch. I, Sergeant Pancakes, will not get clipped by a Mordex and lose. I might get clipped, but I will win. I might lose, but I will not get clipped. Are you going to download every video of you playing a Mordex so you have the full receipts when they put your clip you can put the uh, or their clip you can put the entire clip you know what you just gave me an idea for a video i'm going to download <laughs> every mordex match that i play 
and we're just going to make a compilation of Sergeant Spankcakes versus Mordex 2022. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. And it'll just oh be an hour and 40 minutes or whatever it ends up being of sped up footage of me playing Mordexes and probably losing most of them. Oh, it'll be beautiful. All right, all right. So my fifth resolution is to record every Mordex match that I play in 2022. <laughs> Whew. All right. Oh, I think here's that another resolution. Up. Oh, uh, you whenever, got one. Whenever I move across the U.S. Uh, in the next month or so, uh, put my game room on the side that doesn't have motorcycles drafts piled down. <laughs> so Rocks kind of alluded to what I kind of alluded to earlier, in that uh, we will be living in close proximity to each other. Close proximity. And gravity, <laughs> gravity cancel podcast will probably be recorded live with a live with studio audience we'll have yeah we'll have each of our girlfriends cheering for us as we <laughs> talk about brawlhalla no but we will seriously consider probably if my schedule allows recording video and audio for the gravity cancel podcast and then also have like a commentary booth for Bra- gravity cancel brawlhalla tournaments Oh yeah, the so, possibilities are endless. Yeah, I think uh, I think I think we're going to be on to some good stuff in 2022 with Gravity Cancel Podcast. We're going to have to redo uh, showdowns on land, though. Oh, you want to you want to play locally? But so I'm just saying, can... if I if I lose showdowns, I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna blame it on the online connection. Showdown to you, Electric Boogaloo, <laughs> featuring featuring land connections. I'm down with that. Oh, I'm down. Absolutely down. Ooh, maybe even host... You might have said this already, but host local tournaments. Pretty pretty uh, big city in the middle of a desert. Not a lot to do. Why not go to a Brawlhalla yeah. tournament? You know, I, uh, I've i wanted to start a local Brawlhalla scene for a long time. I, I don't know how viable it is, but I'll try anything. I don't think there's any, like... I don't think there's any scenes that play Brawlhalla locally that I'm aware of. I like, Smash Bros. is typically played offline. Uh, Street uh, Fighter is played offline. Brawlhalla is only played online. Pandemic well. Pandemic well. <laughs> it's Arizona. We, uh, we don't have COVID here anymore. Oh, yeah? We never had COVID. The sun killed it? The sun killed it. Um, okay, so. It just reminded me of the, the COVID rap. The COVID rap. The, oh gosh. It's, Insert uh, it here. Who's Is the, uh. Pastor Keith Copeland? Yep, yep, that one. Yeah. COVID-19. <laughs> yeah, he'll blow the wind of God and eradicate COVID from Arizona. I blow the wind of God. <laughs> Oh, gosh. So be on the lookout for Brawlhalla content in 2022, brought to you by Gravity Cancel Podcast, live and in person. Sponsored by Voodoo Ranger. Maybe, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. Rocks. So, end of the year. It's not quite our one-year anniversary of Gravity Cancel Podcast, and it's uh, it's also not Thanksgiving yet, or Thanksgiving's past. But I just want to say I, I'm thankful for the... What the heck was that? I knocked over my glass pins on accident. Okay. What do you think of my glass pin ASMR? Uh, I think it needs to stop. Was it? Bad? I just wanted to say I am. I'm. Yeah, it was. It was horrible. I am thankful for what we've uh, created and what we're going to do in the future. It's been a great uh, three quarters of a year recording Gravity Cancel podcast, and I can only wait to see what 2022 brings us oh well we're gonna be getting started with uh should we tease it should we tease the next podcast guess guess uh we won't tease who it is but if i could cast anyone better for the position i don't know who i would pick so uh i'll leave you with that all right (laughs) well i'm i feel the same way uh i'm I'm excited to get showdowns over with, mainly because I've got a surprise for whatever it is 
uh, over with, which is going to be awesome. Can't give any spoilers because you don't even know what it is. Yeah, you haven't uh, you haven't uploaded a video recently. All right, hold on, buddy. Don't don't you attack me like that. I'll have you know I uploaded a podcast recently. A podcast or a, a showdowns? That's what I, they're videos. They count. I just took a short hiatus from showdowns. That that dumpster fire of week 10, 11, 12, and 13 took a lot out of me. Okay. I am actually Fair. pretty pretty close to the next episode. It should be coming out today's Sunday, probably like Tuesday or Wednesday. It should be coming out. Today's Saturday, but oh wait, no, today is Sunday. Dang it. Yeah, Christmas was Saturday, bro. My days are all screwed up. I just got off nights last week, okay? Just give me this one. I get it. All right, so you, uh, all you viewers out there will be getting another Showdowns episode here shortly. And episode 20, right around the corner, will be our fourth guest episode. And it's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. It's definitely going to be the funniest podcast yet. Uh, I I truly don't know what to expect, but uh, I'm excited. I can't wait until I send you my list of questions and you put them next to your list of questions. They're going to be vastly different. How many how many questions do you have? Uh, I think I got like 20 of them written down, but I'm going to trim. Oh them. my I'm, god! I'm just going to pick the best ones. <laughs> I have like eight. Okay. All right. All right, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one. So, uh, anyways, thanks for listening in to episode 19 of the Gravity Cancel podcast. Be sure to write your resolutions down and adhere to them and become a better person in 2022. That's all I got. Peace. Follow us on Twitter and TikTok. Uh, quit shouting out all the social medias. No one, everyone that cares is already following us. That's what you're supposed to do at the end of a podcast.